Well, today I'm going to show you one of the most popular molds when you're at a craft fair and how to make it. And this is the test tube stand. And the great thing is you can get these test tubes really cheaply, extra test tubes on the internet. And I will link some extras in the description below. Now this mold is by Let's Resin. I'm loving the quality of their molds at the moment. They are superb. You get so many castings out of them. Before you cast this mold, you do need to put this bit in. And that's where your test tube's going to go. And it just slots into that little bit there like that. And then you can pour as normal and get a great result. But I'm not going to put it in yet because it comes out nice and easy so that you can decorate this if you want to. Now what I'm going to do is you can do these in clear and I think they do look nice and clear. But I'm going to use a few of these chameleon flakes, but I'm not filling it all up. I'm not going to give it all so it's a solid chameleon flake colour because I actually quite like the way it looks when there's just a few chameleon flakes dotted in places around it. Now I'm going to use a brush to put my chameleon flakes on with and I find that this is best. And I'm going to probably use all the colours. So this is a violet. And the best way to do this is on a very clean mould Pop them in where you want them and then just rub over them and it kind of burnishes them and gives them a really great look. Like I said, I'm not going to do the whole thing in it. Just going to put it in places so that some of it can shine through and be clear in places. Just give them a bit of a rub over. You don't need to put tons in, just a few, look, like that. And if you haven't got the chameleon flakes, then the chameleon powders would be fine. They do look very different, chameleon powders and chameleon flakes. They give a very different effect. So if you want to know the difference between them and how to use them, then I'll link that video at the end of this one. I will link these in the description below so you can get hold of them. And if I've got a discount code, I'll also put the discount code in there as well. A massive thank you to everyone that got me a coffee last month. I really am appreciating it. I'll have probably moved by the time this video goes out. And the reason I'm saving all my coffees at the moment is because where I'm moving to, I don't have a dedicated area to craft. But unfortunately, I had to move. So everything I get is going towards helping me buy somewhere to craft from and continue to make my videos so thank you very much your names are coming up on now on my coffee board see so look how that's coming on and it you oh, i love they are so blimmin sparkly i love them you know me and sparkle everybody i do like a bit of sparkle so because this is loose what you can do is just add a few of these to it or do what I'm going to do and that is roll my piece in the bits and flakes that have come off and then they'll stick to that like that. Pop that in its place, making sure you get it set in there really well and it's fully in there. There we go, so that's fully in there now like that and I can just go ahead now and mix up my resin and fill that with resin. I'm ready to pour my resin in this now. What I'm going to be using is the three times UV protect by J Diction. So easy to use. It's just a normal one to one ratio mix with it. Well, now my resin's all mixed up. What I'm going to do is pour that in there fairly slowly, just going round. Trying not to make too much of a mess, but there we go. That's me all over. And these are so easy and simple to make. You can do so many different types of them as well and have them on your fair or just use them around your house if you want to but i mean they sell so well they're very popular and they don't take up as much resin as you would think i think this has probably taken about 120 mil of resin which actually isn't as much as what you would think it would take and now i'm going to leave that for a few minutes go over it with a long neck lighter never a torch you don't want to ruin this mold any bubbles that come up, just burst those and then leave it to cure until the morning. And I can show you what it looks like. Well, this is all cured up nice and lovely. And it's so easy to take out of the mould. And you'll see why it comes with that little bit there. And that is so that you can then take that out as well. And you get a perfect circle. And it saves having to have the mould as two halves which what you would have to do to get that perfect circle in there and i think that has come out really really pretty then you just take one of the test tubes like that slot that in there and pop a flower in it now i've got no flowers it's winter time but what i have got is these flowers that i made on my other channel from old bleach bottles <laughs> 
believe it or not. When I said to my son, I said to my son, do you like those? He said, yeah, I do. What do you make them from? I said, a bleach bottle. He went, yeah, of course you did, Dad. You just use everything. Or one of these that I made out of an old water bottle. So you could put those in it during the winter months or if you're lucky and you live in a climate where you've got flowers all year round then you could get one of those flowers. But they're really easy to make. You can fill these test tubes with water. They're actually plastic test tubes, so they're not gonna break easily, and also they are not gonna discolor too easily. But I love that. I think that has come out so pretty with those iridescent chameleon flakes, but yet we've still got some light showing through it. These sell particularly well. There is no doubt about it. People love them. And you can do all sorts. You don't have to have them like this. You can have them solid or just completely clear if you'd like. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've really enjoyed making this one. You get quite a few test tubes in the pack, but you can also buy very easily test tubes on the internet. And I'll link some spare ones in the description below, as well as the mold. Boot that like button, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to check out the video that's coming up next as well. I think you'll love that. It is an awesome project on how to make a giant dice. Take care, enjoy your resin, Bye.